What's up guys and welcome. You are watching Fancy Fitness. So we are now less than 12 weeks out of this year's Miss Olympia. And let's start this video with the update of the winning Arn Classic Champion and the Persian Wolf. The man who is the biggest rival of the winning Miss Olympia, Derek Lansford. How did you bond? So I really wonder how their coach, Honey Rainbow feels in this situation. But he knows that only one of these two guys, they will come out on top. But Honey has been in that same position before as well. When Jay Cutler and Phil Heath were fighting for the top spot back in 2010 and 2011. So Hadi Chopra knows that the man he's chasing, he has the best back in the men's open bodybuilding right now and arguably one of the best backs ever. And with another year of solid training for Derek, no one is going to be able to touch him from the back. I think there is a mutual consensus out there that Derek from the back, he is lights out. No one can beat him. And deep inside, every competitor out there knows that. And at the same time, everyone, especially Hadi Chopin, they will try not to lose that shot by a big margin. And that is why the back is the main focus for Hadi going into this year's Miss Olympia. Now, on the other hand, Hadi Chopin has incredible fun shots. He has the best abs in the men's open. His serratus is just off the charts. His quads are so freaking huge. The chest and the shoulders, they are some of the best in the game. And those are his biggest strengths. So it was really close between these two guys last year and the year before that as well. And Hadi Chopin made a very strong statement at this year's Arnold, especially the one in Columbus, that he wants that goal back. But Derek, on the other hand, he has also made some significant improvements in terms of his size and in terms of his overall physique. So head to head, these guys are one and one. Hadi won in 2022 and Derek won in 2023. So this one will be a decider. And I believe this is going to be another great battle. Next up, we have an update of Rubil Mosquera, aka Nexilla. So I'm not really sure if that's a recent one, if that is actually a one week out update, because there is just no way. Rubil is still weighing 304 pounds, that's close to the show, or maybe he is. So the reason I'm saying that is I remember that this was his weight a few weeks ago when Chris Cormier joined the team. But this gives us a pretty good idea how his front double biceps is gonna look on the stage at this year's Dubai Pro. Because Rubel was already very weeks out of the show. So that quad sweep, I have to say, is just nuts. And that will be the biggest factor on why Rubel's waist, despite being white, won't appear white on the stage. Because at the end of the day, it is all about creating that illusion, creating that retaper. So Chris Colmer said that there are going to be three shots in which Rubel is going to beat everyone, both side shots and the abs and thigh. And let's just admit that Rubel's abs are very thick and they are very deep. Barros also has very good abs and thigh shot. And the package that Nathan Diesha brought to this year's Portugal Pro stage, where his waist looked very streamlined, that was a great shot for him as well at that show. So we will see how this goes. So the side shots of Rubil are just insane. And that is just based on his look that we saw at last year's Prague Pro. And this time there is a very high likelihood that he's going to be more mature. He's going to be more conditioned. So Chris does have a point here. That Rubil is taking these side shots. And I think we can all agree that he is the real axe factor in this show. He can just shock the entire bodybuilding world. So Bahros Tabani also posted one week of physique update. So this is Bahros' last show of the year before this year's Mr. Olympia. And all we can see is that the longer he dives, the better he gets. So Bahros is gonna be that guy with the smallest face on the stage at this year's Dubai Pro. The best symmetry as well. The best aesthetics too. So a few years into his career, Barros's legs have progressed up to a point where he looks a lot balanced top to bottom. Although he does open up very wide, especially in the front shots, like the front double biceps and the front large spread. So a little more quad sweep. That will certainly make his proportions more impressive. So I'm not really sure if Barros's quads can get more separated, like Nathan's quads. Because in Italy, Barros might be overall better than Nathan. And that is why he won that show with first scores. But even Milosorsev, his coach, he could not deny that Nathan's legs were definitely better. And one last thing, as a bodybuilding fan, it will be so great to see all three of these guys, William Bonak, Baro Stabani, and Nathan Diesha on this year's Miss Olympia stage. They will definitely gonna make the show a lot more interesting. So Nathan is also looking really crazy right now. He's out there in Kuwait, training with Ors Krasinski, who is pushing him during these final few workouts before he puts an end to this season. So Dubai Pro is definitely another show that is really wide open. And for Nathan Diesha as well. Because he did beat William Bonak at this year's Portugal. And that too is first course. And we all know 
that Nathan's mentality is just superb. He's coming for nothing less than a win here. So at this point, for Nathan Deisha, the Olympia is just another bodybuilding show. But the thing is, it's where the best of the best compete. And sadly, Nathan hasn't competed at the big show since 2018. And even more sad part is that he was qualified for every single Olympia since 2019 to 2023, except for one. And that was back in 2020. And that was because he was unable to compete that year because of a couple of injuries. So I really hope that we get to see him back on the Olympia stage. Next up, we have a 12 weeks of physique update of the 212 champ, Keon Pearson, giving us a sneak peek of what used to be his biggest weakness just two years ago. So this is the year where we will see the most amount of improvements from Keon Pearson. Because this is the very first time ever since he switched to 212, he trained for an entire year without the pressure of competing in the middle part of the year in order to get his Olympia qualification. And most importantly, he has been so focused and determined throughout this offseason to make so much improvements that he becomes totally undeniable. We all just saw how crazy he looked in the guest posing that he did just a week ago. He was big and full as a house, but at the same time in a phenomenal condition for 13 weeks out of the show. So hamstrings and glutes were the areas where Sean Tarita was really strong. And even though Keon lost that back double biceps to Sean last year, but even with last year's version of Keon, he was able to beat him in the back last spread shot because Keon just has that amazing weight and he takes so much space on the stage, especially in comparison to his biggest rival. Personally, I think Keon's era started last year and this improved version of him, that is gonna be so damn hard to beat. Mehat Kaya without a doubt is the most muscular 21 years old right now in the world. I am actually really looking forward to see him make his pro debut at this year's Dubai Pro, which is happening this upcoming weekend. Although I do think he isn't just gonna go up there and beat some former Olympians, especially Angel Caldwell, placed second in 2022 and third in 2023. And not only just Angel Calderon, because he is in a league of his own, especially when it comes to density and the muscle maturity that comes after years and years of training. But I do believe there are going to be some other big names in there as well. But Nehat Kaya looks mind-blowing right now. He is so round and such great development of his physique that it is absolutely insane that the guy is just 21 years old. So it is always funny seeing comments that is going to hurt himself, especially his health in the long run. You guys have to understand, these are professional athletes and they know all the risks when they decide to enter this sport or any other professional sport for that matter. Because at the highest levels, there is always a price you have to pay. So what are your expectations from Nehat Kaya, especially for his pro debut? If he continues to improve, especially at this pace, he's going to be a force to be reckoned with in the 212 in the future. So hit the thumbs up button if you liked the video and smash the subscribe button if you want to come back for more. Thanks for watching.